2001 Buick Regal LS. All right, I have the cluster out in my lap here. As you can see, it took a little bit of disassembly. Uh, had to pull a few screws out, and mostly these locking tabs hold the face of this instrument cluster panel on. Um, there's a screw on the other side, so you had to open the passenger door to get that screw out and then pry all that out of you. You kind of have to tip it forward and then lift it up out to get it from out behind these little panels here, but it does come out of there with a little bit of prying without breaking anything. And then detach the uh, electrical cable from on top here. And that's about it to get out. So there's just some little tabs that kind of lock this whole thing together. If you push those in one by one and pry up on it a little bit, to go, that will come off of there nice and easy. And a little odometer button, tripometer button, if you will. And same thing on the back side. Back side has the little locking tabs, you pry them off one by one, it's off fairly easily. And then you have the circuit board. Now this is the opposite side that we need to work on here. Alright, the only thing holding this together at this point is these uh, sliding tabs, electrodes, to the gauges. So a little bit of force and prying up this whole circuit board will lift off. And here we go. Don't need any of that. And here's what you see. So this part here is our Prindle what's stopped working and you can see there's kind of what looks like a, a burn spot there on the glass. That's actually nothing to worry about. You can ignore that. It's pretty common. It's not a problem. Um, otherwise it all looks good. The only other thing I noticed is right around this area, one of the tabs going in looked a little bit charred. I guess my camera's not going to focus on that too well. But it also was not part of the problem, just so you're aware of that. Uh, an inspection of all the resistors on here revealed these four right here. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Here we go. The, what I first noticed was the top one. Uh, the electrodes on the end looked pretty dark in color. So I touched, I touched it with my finger and put a little pressure on it. It just rolled right off. It just <coughs> broke the west away loose from the circuit board off. <coughs> it was pretty tough to get it back on there semi-straight. You can see it's pretty crooked. Um, but I got, I got enough solder flowed on to each end of it that it did work. And... Uh, the other three didn't look too good either, so I went ahead and refloated those. And you'll notice just down the track here on the other side, there's two other ones that also didn't look very good. So I went ahead and refloated the solder on all six of those. Luckily, the other five were still in place, so I just refloated one end at a time. I had to do quite a bit of scraping with a screwdriver on each end of them, a little mini screwdriver to get the some bare metal showing, get the black stuff out of the way, the carbon deposits, so that the solder would stick. Um, so you may have to do some cleanup before you solder it. Um, but once you got that, reflow the solder on each end of those. Get them so they're nice and solid and, and look a little better. And uh, when you reassemble it, uh, you should have a working display. All right, here's the cluster back inside the car. Uh, just done four seven millimeter screws in there, as you can see, or you can use the Phillips on them. Find the seven millimeter a little easier for myself. Um, as you can see, our display is working beautifully now. Uh, I hope this video helps. Good luck.